All right. I'm very happy uh, to report that yesterday, Dan, the man, if you haven't been following my TRVL updates, uh, Dan tipped me <laughs> 10 euros. He, he's, he, uh, and I was able to buy TRVL at market yesterday live on my stream. So I don't know if anyone was watching that, but just in case you weren't, I'm going to bring it right back up. Um, so just in case you missed, um, you missed the buy. There it is. That's me buying at market. Where is it? Um, I do it here somewhere. There you go. <laughs> Did you see it? <laughs> that was a buy at market. So just to confirm that I wasn't making this up. If I get any tips from this channel, I'm going to buy my, I'm going to market by TRVL and I'm going to put it on my live stream and on my cup. There it is. Look, no, no, that's not it. Oh, okay. Anyway, that was quite exciting. Thank you, Dan, again. So, uh, again, I mean, I didn't expect the price to suddenly pump to the moon on a, a 10 you a 10 swiss franc buy market buy but you never know you know someone might come onto my channel one day and tip me more <laughs> and then guess what's going to happen i'm going to just market buy trvl never know um nothing's changed yeah there's nothing really to report there's nothing really to say i do like that we're falling down quite quickly i think that's quite healthy because i think when we want to go up we want to go up quite quickly uh, but beyond that, obviously what's happening now, you see the daily candles are closing underneath these daily levels. So these daily levels have basically been cleared of their liquidity. There's no more liquidity there. And naturally what's happening is the price is dropping. Um, it doesn't really matter if the price drops. What matters if, is if the price holds where it has to hold. Yeah. And, you know, we're still kind of approaching that area of confluence today is on time if we were to drop now to 4.2 that would be on time day uh one or two days here or there doesn't really make any difference in the scale of things because you're still coming into a an area it's an area this whole thing is an area and obviously if we don't get there and the price just kind of rounds out then it doesn't matter either because you're just basically the price will just round out and it there's not enough sell pressure to take it down and it'll just come here and it'll find support of this upper trend line and it just that will be fine too there's no problems with that kind of idea we may quite easily take the liquidity from these low swing failure and just round out to go back up there's no reason why the price is going to drop down there um it's just a really good area okay now if we do round out obviously then you want to go up you don't want to then round out and then start breaking this line mid-june to go back down because you've lost that area haven't you the conf the area of confluence is basically this weekend yeah so just bear that in mind what if we don't get there we're rounding out let's go up and if we do get there today tomorrow whatever or even monday then let's bounce up let's hit let's let's take that let's react hard and that's kind of what you want to see that will once people see a bullish reaction that gives people confidence to buy because now they have an invalidation if we do put in a low a lower low here that would be a daily market structure change to bearish confirmed because we're putting in a lower low but that means that if we do get a reaction here or some kind of rounding bottom, both are, in the context of what I'm seeing, both are possible and acceptable. This is, again, you see this a lot and it doesn't always work. It's a V shape and then you have a rounding bottom. Again, you see a lot, it's called Adam and Eve. So just remember that, a V shape followed by a rounding bottom. 
in the context of Adam and Eve's, usually the, the low isn't taken. It doesn't really matter, to be honest with you. You can take out the low. All that matters is that after you put in a low, that you take out the high. You have to take out the high. It's almost better to put in a low and then take out the high, to be honest with you. Because the minute you, uh, if we don't take out the low here, then to get back in, we're still in bullish market structure, but to get back into confirmation of continuation, you still have to take out that pivot high there on the daily time frame. Yeah. If you put in a lower low here, you've changed market structure. It's lower low, lower high, lower low. Yeah. That's a change. But then if you if immediately after you change market structure to bearish on the daily time frame you go up and you take out the lower high for a higher high it's just easier it's just easier to change back to bullish yeah because you don't have to go all the way up to 12 cents you can just do it here in the five or six cents region which is kind of which would be which would which is just which would make it which would be good because if we change the bearish and then immediately change the bullish that's it you know the bears basically failed or lost you know they they got they jumped in too late so at the moment i'm kind of yeah i'm i'm not nothing's you know i'm just watching like everyone else um waiting to see when the if and when the reaction happens a lot of this is going to coincide with eth and what eth does to bitcoin and what bitcoin does and naturally you're getting a bleed why are we getting a bleed yeah why well potentially it's because of btc you see uh against btc from not long ago huh? only only nine weeks ago and also one peak up there we've been bleeding huh, haven't we we've been bleeding into btc back to btc we're down 59% against Bitcoin from nine weeks ago. And why are we bleeding? Because Bitcoin wants to go up. That's what usually happens. When Bitcoin wants to go up, all coins bleed into Bitcoin. Bitcoin pumps and then the, the, the rotation, then the, the value rotates back into all coins. That's usually what happens. So it looks as though this is what's happening now it looks as though this is what what i this is what i'm seeing and let's see what happens i'm just an observer i think we're at good prices for people to scale in if they've not scaled in not even taken a position i think it's we're at a good price um when i do a volume range pull on the bitcoin chart we're underneath the point of control but we're kind of just in this local in this lower range we still haven't hit the value area low yet. So we're still kind of in the range. We haven't lost the range. And even though we've lost the point of control, we're still above the value area low into this local range here. See that? So for a long period of time, people were like December, whatever, January. This is where the price was. We're back there. Okay. If you hold here and you just range you could just kind of range and you could just kind of it could just go back up yeah but generally speaking it's good to buy at the bottom of the range and so now that we're in the bottom of the range you want to, it's a good place to start buying it'll be better for people to see the value area low react to if that would be nice but obviously you can just scale in now the question is do what happens if you lose the value area low We've lost it in the past and what ended up happening is we ended up putting so much volume that the value area moved down. That could happen again. Or if you lose the value area low, uh, it's probably going to be because Bitcoin is pumping. And if that happens, uh, then once it stops, you, you want to get back in, get right back in. And then once you get back in, that's a deviation from the range. See that a lot. And then what you'd expect is the price to start moving back up to the top of the range. That's usually what happens when you get back into the range. Uh, you, you go to the other side, test the other side and you go back to the other side, test the other side, you go back to the other side. 
that's when you're range bound that's usually what happens the price just ranges okay uh, and that's trvl so uh, i don't know if that was helpful for, for people if you haven't bought then why not <laughs> If you don't want to buy, then just tip me and I'll buy for you. <laughs> or not. I don't really care. That's TRVL. Any questions? There's still a few people here, so that's good. Um, Majid wants me to have a look at Ava quickly. 